Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the book of Ezekiel in the Old Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And we are going to start reading in verse 8. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, an abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jeazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imaginary? For they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord has forsaken the earth, or the land. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Timuz, which is a Samaritan uh, fertility god, similar to the Greek god Adonis. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. He brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For thou, lo, they have filled the land with violence and, and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I deal in mine fury. Mine eye shall not spare. Neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. There's nothing that we do that the Lord doesn't know about. Whether we're doing it in the light of the day or in the dark behind closed doors, the Lord knows. And he will not take pity on the wickedness. And as always, I love you.